Hey everybody, this is John. On a Friday afternoon, it's been a few days <laughs> since we last chatted, and one of the things I want to talk about from a point of view of leaders is the whole orientation of why we can't, and shifting our thinking to how we will. There seems to be an epidemic, particularly in this economy, of people not just saying why we can't, you know, when uh, there's a lot of good reasons, I suppose, why any product, any initiative, any project, any thought, any idea um, is, is not going to work, okay? And people will tell you what those are, and they'll go out of their way to find the reasons. What's challenging in an organization from a leadership point of view and from a culture point of view is when the conversation starts with why we can't. No matter what you say, people will say, well, we can't do that because we see it going on right here in our little town in Fountain Hills, Arizona. And uh, it's become epidemic, frankly, and uh, the leaders really have to step up and do something about it. They've got to nip that in the bud. They've got to stop it. What great leaders do, what contagious leaders do, is they shift that conversation away from why we can't to how we will. This may look like it's a challenge. This may look like this idea, this project, this suggestion may look like it's an uphill battle. <laughs> but let's start over here with a fresh conversation oriented around how we will. How might we attack this so that it'll be successful for everyone? What a shift like that will do is it'll change a culture of an organization, a culture of a team, even right in your own family, for crying out loud, it will change the orientation completely. It'll open it up to creativity. It'll open it up to possibility. Because when we say why we can't, we're immediately talking about there is no possibility. When we say let's focus on how we might, everything is possible. And that's what great leaders do. They focus on the possibility. They create possibility. And largely they do that by focusing themselves their conversation, the people's conversation on how we will rather than why we can't. That's it for now. Until our next message, be well and be contagious.